In this short video, we'll look at proportional controller design using root locus. This is also called uh, parameter selection, where you select the one parameter from the root locus to complete your design. This is the configuration of the controller. The controller here D is nothing but a proportional gain K, and G is the plant. The Y is the output, R is the reference. Now, if you write the um, characteristic equation we can write this as 1 plus dg equal to 0 d equal to k so it is 1 plus kg equal to 0 and we can put it in the characteristic equation in this form 1 plus kgl equal to 0 and from this we can realize that g equal to gl now let's look at an example we have a plant that is given by 1 divided by s plus 3 times s plus 4 times s plus 5 and we have transient requirements uh, uh, rise time is less than 0.514 seconds and the damping uh, constant zeta is greater than 0.5 uh, this corresponds to percentage overshoot less than 16 percent you can do the calculations and uh, see that now let's look at each constraint uh, if rise time is uh, less than 0.514 seconds rise time is given by 1.8 divided by omega n that will give you omega n greater than 3.5 and zeta is greater than 0.5 now this is the root locus here uh, there are three uh, loop transfer function poles one at minus three uh, minus three one at minus four and one at minus five now this will for every value of k you'll have three closed loop poles but we are just looking at the two dominant poles which are poles on these two branches here they will pretty much determine the behavior the pole on this branch ties out really fast because it is far away from the imaginary axis uh, therefore we'll discount that but in actuality at the end of the day you'll have to account for uh, the behavior of this pole as well but uh, we do the design based on the dominant poles so let's put the first constraint omega n is greater than 3.5 so this is your 3.5 omega n equal to 3.5 circle so everything in this blue region is the valid region now earlier you could select any closed loop poles on any point on this root locus right now you can only select uh, points in the root locus that lies in this valid region which is from here to uh, for, uh, until it goes unstable here so from starting from here uh, the corresponding uh, complex uh, pair pole is down here so when you select a pole here you'll automatically get a pole here and a pole here but uh, the valid region so you can't have any poles inside uh, inside here inside here from here to here and here okay so We'll put the second constraint zeta is greater than uh, 0.5 this is this uh, um, this color this is uh, orange color here the, so that further cuts down our valid region now the the, val the valid region that obeys both constraints is this dark region here so the only part of the root locus that is valid is the one that is inside this dark region that is this root locus so as you increase k the roots start from the poles keep increasing keep going like that one branch goes like that simultaneously one branch goes like that at one point the root locus enters the valid region and then it exits the valid region so there are there is a lower bond for k and an upper bond for k and how do you find that so you find the closed loop pole when the root locus enters the valid region here it is s1 is minus 2.5 plus 2.25 i this is 2.25 here between 2 and 2.5 2.25 and this is minus 2.5 the uh, is the, the zeta omega not or the real axis and the s2 is uh, 1.9 minus 1.9 plus 3.4 i so this is 3.5 here if you notice and this is approximately 3.4 and for each of these you can find uh, k value k1 is uh, corresponding to this pole is given by 1 divided by the magnitude of gl at s, a, uh, s equal to minus 2.5 plus 2.25 i and i used matlab to do this uh, you can use a calculator and you'll find that k1 is nearly 21 and the second k2 is given by 1 divided by 
magnitude of gl of s at s equal to this closed loop pole which is nearly equal to 65.7 so k has to lie between k1 and k2 so k has to lie between 21 and 65.7 for these this range of k you will have closed loop poles on this portion of the root locus which is inside the valid region that's pretty much what parameter selection uh, design using root locus is so in summary now you need to draw the root locus of the loop transfer function that's the first step um, you need to mark the valid regions in the complex plane using design requirements so design requirements can be percentage overshoot or uh, um, some limit on the damping constant the time to rise peak time settling time or uh, rise time um, find the portions of the root locus inside the valid regions so that we sh I just showed you and the find the limits of the parameter k and that's pretty much the design process